this week in CAA basketball. It's the fifth seed, Northeastern, against the number four seed, the home standing Connecticut Huskies. Allen number three and Janning number 23. There's a nice lob by Janning and Ojibo gets the first two points of the night. Allen goes to the baseline. Janning open for three. One of the UConn people said for the last four games, for lack of a better term, Jerome Dyson has had the shanks. There's a steal by Allen. Cut off the baseline. How about this? It's behind it, and that nice high-low there from Aquanu to Edwards. Janning. Tip goes. Drive space line, left hand. No, but the follow is there by Adopto. The scoreboard here at Gample Pavilion has it tied at 43. Our scoreboard had it 44-43. Behind the back pass layup. Now they're ahead, no matter what scoreboard you want to use. Ojibo can't get in this time. Allen, what a nice move to get free. Spun it in. Allen, baseline, little jumper, got the roll. They got a chance. We got to drive it. Allen's going to have to do it himself. Got it outside. But tie with a three. That's it. As UConn survives here at Gamble Pavilion, 59 to 57. They welcome the PCU Rams in round one action of the CBI. We were talking with Coach Smart. Not a very good perimeter shooting team, the Rams, so a lot of zones. They see a lot of zones. And Rodriguez connects from way out. Offhand trying to go, and that's another way you go at a shot blocker. Skeen makes him pay from long range. You don't want to see him do that, but if you want to see him fly in there and crash the glass, that's what you're okay with. Skeen hits another three. Brazil hits another three. Three-point range and a steal by Rizel and a hammer for a finish. Get up. Hey. Rodriguez backs it up even a little further and hits another one. That was from the White House. Long-range shooting continues to be there. Daniels, the freshman, with another one. It's been all George Washington in the second half trying to... Get this one tied up. Instead, it's Burgess. Drive feet underneath. Big finish by Skeen. Strong to the hoop. Energy to get out of the hole that you dug yourself. When you have mental breakdowns like that right there, King, there's no way you should have tried to throw that ball in there. Burgess with the big finish. Sanders turns, faces the basket, gets fouled in the bucket. And our final score, 79 to 73 from here at George Washington. And now, North Carolina with a turnover. William and Mary coming back the other way. Ludwig pulls up for three and got it. And the all-time mark in ACC history with his 148th game tonight. Schneider again. Oh, boy. What a way to come back and actually take the lead. Uh-oh, they go inside. Yeah. And a slam on the inside by Stephen Hess. They get an opening for Sumner, and he knocks it down. One extra pass. Carolina trying to pick up the defensive pressure. Another three goes. That one not so <laughs> sneaky, maybe. Schneider, another, and another. Wow. In front. Lob underneath. Sumner and a perfect pass from Brown. Sumner, three, got it. Schneider has a look up. Seven on the shot clock. There goes the three, and there goes another three. Schneider's got seven, three. But boy, what a gutsy show by William and Mary's tribe from Williamsburg, Virginia. They can go back their three-hour bus ride or so tonight and certainly not hang their heads because what a show they gave us and 
All the North Carolina faithful here at Carmichael tonight. A couple old friends shake hands. One advances, one doesn't. North Carolina goes on to round two of the NIT. Stay with CAASports.com for all of your stats, recaps, and highlights of this week's action in CAA basketball.